7,325 pounds, a big 343 dual queen bedroom. Front queen bed, rear queen bed slide Catalina. Just rolled in, used here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I say used out of point of technicality only because it's been registered because it obviously was not really used. This is a style of camper that most brands are going to refer to as the 38s because most of the time their model numbers start with 38. And what it is, is this is what I call a pretend park model. It has the general layout and floor plan of a big, giant, long destination trailer. Um, however, it's built to the specs of a traditional, fully enclosed Catalina travel trailer. And most brands like Jayco, Cherokee, Springdale, they do a couple of these. Um, normally, this would be a front bunkhouse. However, this one was optioned to be built with front and rear queen bedrooms. And that is a very uncommon feature. We don't get a big call for it, but there's always that one person who's like, there's just no other way for me. I need that. Normally, I would go through and show a trailer like this with the slide out closed. However, this is most definitely a destination use trailer. Using it going down the road is not its intended purpose. Um, like you could get to the bathroom and a chunk of the uh, kitchen, actually like the refrigerator and stuff through the rear bedroom door, but it's, it's certainly a little bit clunky and not how it was intended to be used. Now you can see that we do have storage below the, uh, benches here with those easy doors and, uh, that wall right there is a nice big wide pantry. I prefer wide pantries over, uh, narrow, thin, deep ones. Um, it is a little bit taller in here. It is 81 inches tall. Central air, central heat keeps you comfortable. The taller ceiling does give you the opportunity for taller cabinets, though. They did recess these back a little bit. They're still functional. Um, all of the countertops in this are a sealed edge press membrane counter that actually Coachman's been using for a long time. And because this floor plan was extra long, they had the room here to leave you space for like a little breakfast bar. If you wanted to add a couple bar stools, you could easily throw those in. An undermount stainless sink, although I don't see any sink covers included with this. Uh, this is more of a basic camper. Again, the idea behind this is that it gives you the size of one of those destination trailers without the, the necessarily the weight and the cost. It's a little more towable to get it there. Recessed uh, stovetop does help with that um, prep space as well. Now, one of the things that's also extending the length of this camper is that it has a full separate walk-through bathroom. Not just like an enclosed on the side bath right here. And uh, you've got some awesome cabinet space right here. And they made a really smart decision on this. It's, it's less expensive from a production standpoint to have one giant door instead of two or three smaller doors. But it's perfectly functional. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not knocking them whatsoever for doing it. Let me spin around here. The uh, bathroom, you can see we've got this big radius shower, and with the extra height in this camper, even a person, you're going to have to be about six and a half feet tall before that ceiling really starts to become a problem, and even then you've got the skylight. And the extra height, again, has given us room for a bigger medicine cabinet. Now, you might notice how we've got more basic plastic sinks in this or a plastic toilet. It is a large space camper. It's not a high appointment level camper, but everything that really matters, like the nicer counters, power awning, LED lights are out, it's all here. So this is intended as the primary bedroom back here. And you can see you've got those nice little shelves to throw a CPAP on there. Um, or just phone chargers. And there's power outlets. That one's a little further away than I would like, but that one's pretty darn close. This is a queen bed. You could put a king in it, however. And um, as I spin us around here, you can see that back in this master bedroom, you've got a decent chunk of storage space. I mean, that's very respectable. Nothing to, we say shake a stick at. Where did that phrase come from, my my YouTube fans? Can you can you tell me? Uh, somebody look up because I I'm curious, but I'm too busy to actually take the time to look up. Where does the phrase "more than you can shake a stick at" come from? Electric space heating fireplace down here with the sort of faux brick surround to give it to give it the upscale look without the ridiculous cost. And that is going to be a uh, a CD DVD stereo, not yet Bluetooth at the time that this was built. Um, and the, all the original electronics appear to be present and accounted for, including the remote control for that fireplace. Now, I say fireplace because that's kind of what we're calling it, but it's an electric space heater. But you can use it for LED visuals without heat as well. Because this is really intended to be a spring, summer, fall camper. 
It does have an enclosed heated belly, but there is no special fancy pants insulation package present on this camper. Now up front here, this one was again built with what would normally be a very traditional front travel trailer walk around queen bedroom. This is exactly what most Catalina bedrooms look like. Although the uh, original intention of this one is that it could be a bunkhouse, it could be two bedrooms. It's just exceptionally uncommon to find one that actually does have two beds applied to it. So someone's gonna, someone who's like that one needle in the haystack person, they're like, ha ha, finally. Inside and outside both. This thing looks just brand freaking new. It's got a good look to it, it, it does. Um, again, it's a simpler level trailer, but smart appointments, you know. The power tongue jack does the heavy lifting for us. The power awning helps set camp a little easier. If you've got a nice wide uh, storage compartment up here, and a couple little accessories. This is one of those things that made me start to think, I don't think this camper was ever really used a whole heck of a lot, because I, I found a couple little accessories laying around that are straight out of the package, never touched, effectively. Um, the uh, the nose is an automotive painted skin, kind of a uh, an idea that they sort of borrowed from the uh, the very popular Cherokee series of trailers, like those that you'd find here at Halet RV. Um, the yeah, I mentioned the underbelly. I'm sorry. It is after hours. I have been busy. It's hot. I'm tired, and I'm just trying to make sure I do everything I can to keep my head above water and to keep the campers uh, you know up here and ready for you folks. All the windows are tinted, which will give you some better privacy and keep the heat down. Um, they do a, a really rugged, like, thicker aluminum fender trim on these as well. And again, simple camper, but with the little aluminum simulators to give it a, a decent look. Our central kind of hookup station here in the middle. But one thing they do on these Catalinas, I will definitely give them credit. This is something that's really smart. A lot of campers have these outside showers. And they're always mounted at, like, belly button level. So you can't, like, actually try to use any sort of showering with them so they they put a shower head mount a little bit higher and it's like perfect grandkid height uh so if the grandkids have been kind of in the lake you can sort of just have that set up for them and you can say all right kiddos when you come back get yourselves rinsed off before you come in my camper smelling like turtle guts <laughs> Backup camera, observation camera ready. Typically a big camper like this is gonna be parked at a destination and that's not a feature most folks are gonna look for. Um, direct entry door to the rear bedroom, you may have noticed it does have some uh, simple uh, outside TV hookups, just an outside TV coax line and power plugs. This does have a full walk on roof. We've got 3 8 OSB roof decking on uh, four and a half inch, half inch arched roof trusses. Um, and then little preventative maintenance items. Despite not being used a lot, it was very clean and well kept, obviously. So it wasn't just neglected and abandoned. They just weren't using it. But they had intentions of keeping it good with like the little bug prevention screens on your uh, water heater and um, furnace vents. So, overall, by the way, that's Pete the dog. That's the coachman mascot is Pete the dog. Overall, she's clean. Uncommon layout. It's not going to be for everybody, but there's whoever it is for, there's nothing else that fits them better. And hey, we got one, at least for now. <laughs> if you're just on YouTube, definitely check the link in our video description. It says for pricing and availability, because something like this, it's going to like, there's going to be a person who's been searching for it. When they find it, they're going to, it's going to vanish overnight out of nowhere. So just remember that the camper you were looking at yesterday and wanted to think about to, uh, till today could have been the one that somebody already saw and is already purchasing. So keep that in mind. Short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.